Hi, this is part three of how to make an epic trailer using stock photos. Today we'll look at this opening cityscape shot. Here it is. I believe this is Paris or some such place. And we're going to start by creating a new comp. We'll call this cityscape. Cityscape, let's make it 1920 by 1080. Click OK. OK, let's take our photo and we're going to just drag it in. We're going to duplicate the photo, go up to Layer, New, Camera, set to 80 mil, and Layer, New, Null Object. So the Null Object is going to control our camera, so we're going to grab our Pick Whip on the camera and parent it to the Null. Okay, now we got to make sure that these are all 3D objects so we're gonna we're gonna select our 3d box now this first layer here we're gonna carve up so that will be our layer that will move towards the camera sooner than the background layer so that'll give us our 3d feeling so the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna start creating a little mask this is gonna be really 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 sloppy but I'll leave it to you guys to perfect things later. But it'll give you the idea anyway. So there you go. Let's just check that. Ooh, yeah, that is really bad. Okay. Let's just uh, feather this just a little bit. Now we're going to move that layer a little bit closer in 3D space. So we'll, um, we'll go to our top camera, back it out. Okay, here's our camera here, and here are our two layers. So we're going to take this layer, and we're going to hit P for position, and move it closer to the camera. So that's going to go by the camera a little bit quicker than the background layer. Okay, let's go back to the active camera. Okay, let's adjust the scale. Oh, there it is here. We'll just hit for P for position. Move it up. Keep adjusting the scale a little bit. Okay, that's enough to give you the general idea. Let's go to Null, P for position, and now we're just going to move in and see if we have that 3D feeling. There we go, something like that. So I'm just doing one layer right now, but of course you can go in and do three or four layers to, to really finesse it and really make it come alive. But I think you get the idea for now. Okay, now let's add some fires. We'll go up to this first fire and drag it in. And then we're going to change the mode to screen. And let's scale it down. Make sure it's changed to 3D so it's going to follow our camera movements. We'll throw that on top of our building right there. And then we'll go to this fire here. These, these fires are all from Action Essentials, which is uh, a great offering by Video Copilot. We're going to change the mode again to Screen, S for Scale, and we'll move that over here. Oh. Make sure, let's make sure it's 3D as well. Okay, let's just check that. Uh, we'll go back to the null and make sure as we move in, those fires stay where they're supposed to. Okay, let's add uh, an explosion. Right here. Okay, pretty big, way too big. Let's scale it down. Make sure it's set to 3D. 
We'll pull it over there somewhere. And I'll scale it up just a little bit. I have an aerial explosion here. We're going to drag that in. This is really awesome. I love this explosion. Make sure it's set to 3D. So that guy over there somewhere. Okay, well, uh, we'll take a look at that first explosion. Let's let's move him back a little bit so everything's not going off all at once. Let's see what we got here. Okay, close enough. Okay, let's add some smoke. We'll grab this puffy smoke, which is also from Action Essentials. And we'll scale it down. And we'll just give it more of a long plume and throw it on top of our building here. Scale it down a little bit further. Now it's kind of bluish, so we'll go into effect, color correction, uh, hue saturation. Yeah, we'll just take the saturation right down on that. And then let's just change the contrast, make it a little bit more black. Color correction, brightness contrast. Yeah, push the brightness down a little bit. And the contrast up. Oh, and oh, yeah, let's make sure that the puppy smoke is 3D as well, so it follows our camera. I won't bother do this during the smoke for this one because you, you get the idea. Okay, let's take a look at how we can composite that explosion a little bit better into the scene. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to create an adjustment layer, new adjustment layer. We're going to type in glow here and under stylize is glow and just drag that into the scene. Okay, now under glow operations, oh sorry, under uh, glow colors, we're going to set this to A and B colors and we're going to select our colors down here. So color A is going to be kind of an orange. And then color B, we're going to change that to red. Okay, let's go to our masking tool. Let's mask around that explosion. And there you go. We have some kind of a glow. Now we can uh, adjust, say, the radius here, the glow intensity, adjust our mask a little bit. Yeah, you can sort of play with this all day. Okay, so there's our glow. Oh, actually, it should be, that should be set to 3D as well. Okay, and here's without it. So you can really work with this and really make that, make the explosion feel that it's, like it's really part of the scene. And you can also put the glow on this, uh, this aerial explosion that happens here and the glow on the, on the fires as well. You can play with that. Uh, you might want to mask around that that smoke uh, and the fire because the smoke is pretty much hiding up that hiding uh, the fire. So I would do that as well. Let's add uh, some clouds here. Okay, throw the storm clouds on top. Uh, let's see. I can't remember where I got this from. Oh yeah, Canstock Photo. So it's a stock photo library. A storm cloud. So we'll just make that. Sky, feel nice and stormy. Hit S for scale. Make that a 3D layer as well. 
we'll scale that down okay let's mask out the bottom and change that to subtract and then we'll feather that a whole bunch adjust that mask try to get rid of that line a little bit there we go there we go we got some smoke and storm up there and we'll adjust the opacity a little bit okay let's add an adjustment layer on top of everything new adjustment layer we'll go to uh, effect color correction tint map white to and we'll just change this to kind of a blue green and you can uh, adjust the amount of the, the tint so it just gives a subtle subtle bluish quality there you go Yeah, that aerial explosion, is, that's going to need some compositing and the fires and stuff. Uh, here's, here's a tip, though. If you want to, um, let's say you put your adjustment on top and you want that fire to look a little bit more orange. Uh, let's see, where is that fire? Okay, so that fire right here, what you could do is you could duplicate it, drag it up top. And you're going to have your orange fire here that's going to be sitting right on top. And then you can adjust your uh, opacity just to make that stand out a little bit more if you want. Okay, let's add our jet streams. Uh, now, what I've been using for this uh, is a tutorial uh, by Andrew Kramer on creating smoke, smoke trails. It's quite lengthy and involved. But the cool thing about it is you can create a comp of it and just sort of drag it in and use it wherever you want which is which is pretty uh, time saving so I'm just gonna go into my missile streams here and uh, oh first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all this I'm gonna go uh, shift command C on my Mac I'm gonna create a pre comp of everything okay and now I'm gonna go to that uh, missile smoke trail and I'm going to drag that in there's our smoke trail right there and you could uh, maybe add a, add a bit of a tint to that as well oops Try to blend that in with the scene a little bit more. And we'll duplicate that. Hit R for rotation. And we could have another one sort of coming in from up above or some such thing. And the other thing I added was uh, sort of a UFO sort of object, which I created in uh, Element 3D. I just did a very, very basic saucer-like sort of thing with a little red laser beam that goes down and sets off our bomb. But uh, that's pretty uh, easy to do, and I won't take up your time going through that. So that gives you a general idea of what I did, and uh, let's look at the final one more time. Okay, that's it for today. Um, hope you got something out of that. And if you'd like to tune in for part four of this series, please click subscribe up above and have yourself a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.